LWO on WeatherNet. Uh, liftoff conditions looking pretty good. ESTS is ready for launch. Ignition. Liftoff. Falcon 9 has cleared the tower. Ten. Nine. Eight. Side booster ignition. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition and lift off. Chamber pressures are nominal. Vehicle is pitching downrange. At T plus 40 seconds into flight, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, carrying our stack of Starlink satellites to orbit. Now we are throttling down that first stage in preparation for max Q. Now coming up in about a minute, we'll have three events happening within seconds of each other. And that'll be main engine cutoff or MECO, stage separation and SES-1 or second engine start one. Now MECO is where all nine of the M1D engines shut down, slows so the vehicle down in preparation for the second event, stage separation. MVAC engine chill has begun. And Max Q stands for him. And there's that call out for Max Q. This is the largest structural load that the vehicle sees. And stage separation is where the first stage separates from the second stage. Uh, first stage will make its way back to Earth while second stage continues on its journey with SES 1 or second engine start 1. And that's where we light up the MVAC engine and stage separation confirmed and it will propel the second stage along with the Starlink satellites to orbit the right hand screen being the second stage and you can see SES-1 that MVAC engine is now glowing bright red there and in a few seconds from now we should have fairing deploy stage separation confirmed and there you could see on your right hand screen, the fairing has deployed. Now as stage two heads towards its targeted drop off orbit, stage one will execute two burns in order to make its way back to earth. The first burn is the entry burn. And that's where three of the nine Merlin 1D engines will reignite. And that'll help slow the vehicle down as it reenters back into the earth's atmosphere. And the second burn for the first stage Second and final burn is the landing burn, and this is where a single engine will reignite, and that slows the vehicle down rapidly in order to touch down on that drone ship. Again, we are attempting to land on Of Course I Still Love You, and this will be the sixth attempt for this booster. Acquisition of signal, Bermuda. Now on your screen is a live view of that second stage. This is the Merlin vacuum engine. And there's that call out for Seco, as I mentioned earlier, that is second engine cutoff one. Again, we are doing two burns for this MVAC engine. Nominal insertion orbit. And there's that, signal cape. there's that call out for a good orbit. Again, the first stage will perform two burns. It will be the entry burn and the landing burn. Stage two is still on a, a nominal trajectory. This is carrying our Starlink satellites to their targeted orbit. And we are just about 30 seconds away, or under 30 seconds away from that entry burn starting up on the first stage. And the entry burn will last about 20 seconds long. And again, it will be three of the nine engines reigniting. Stage one, FTS is saved. Stage one, engine burn start. 
And there you can see on your left hand screen as that view lights up, those three engines are burning bright, helping to slow the vehicle down. Stage one entry burn shut down. We did have a call out for entry burn conclusion. Stage two is still looking nominal. Got a live view from the drone ship on your left hand side. We did get a little bright glow, but no longer see a, a flame there. And it does look like we did not land our booster on. Of course, I still love you tonight. But our second stage is still on a nominal trajectory. So now stage two is going to coast in this orbit for the next 35 minutes or so. So we'll see you back here at T plus 45 minutes for a second stage relay. Welcome back to the webcast for Starlink, getting ready for SES-2 in a few seconds. SES-2 is second engine start. In the recognition. And there you could see when we had a live view, that very, very short burn. During this time, the spacecraft will start to spin along its central axis. While this happens, sit back and enjoy the space jams. We'll see you back here at T plus one hour and four minutes. Welcome back to our Starlink mission. Second stage spin along its central axis to give the Starlink satellites the momentum they need to space themselves Starlink out. Starlink deploy confirmed. And what you're looking at on your screen are these Starlink satellites drifting away from second stage. This is confirming deployment of our payload. And that brings our webcast to a close. Thank you to the range and the FAA for supporting today's mission. And thanks to all of our viewers and every one of you that has signed up or placed an order for service. Thanks for joining us and have a great night.